Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and in today's video, we're going over how to go about obtaining the expert mining gloves. These can only be obtained from the mining guild. And to be honest, it's kind of slow. It's mining. Mining is not exactly the most enjoyable <laughs> skilling experience in the game. However, I will say that this pair of gloves is an absolute I wouldn't say necessarily go so far as to say it's a game changer, but it really does make a difference when you go about mining, especially when it comes to higher level ores such as runite ore or even amethyst. It really makes a big difference. So I would highly recommend uh, getting these gloves if possible. If you are an Iron Man, I highly recommend at least obtaining the regular mining gloves because that does make a difference uh, when Obtaining essential materials such as coal, you are going to be using coal quite a lot for your smithing when making uh, your mithril adamant and runite bars. Um, getting the mining gloves will help out quite a lot with that. So anyways, without further ado, uh, for some context, if you're new to the channel, I am a completionist account, meaning that I do want to complete the entire collection log as well as all the combat achievements in the game. And in the process, I'll be making guides for all of those activities for you guys to partake of. So even though I'm on a main account, I pretty much partake in the same activities that Iron Man <laughs> end up having to do anyway. So yeah, there's that. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in order to actually obtain your mining gloves, superior mining gloves, or your expert mining gloves, you do need access to the mining guild, which does require at least level 60 mining, okay? As you can see here, I, I have level 86 mining at the moment, so I obviously have access to it, um, as well as I have the actual expert mining gloves themselves. Now, in terms of gear, um, nothing is required for gear, except for, of course, a pickaxe but obviously there are going to be things that will help you along the way. Some of them being such as the uh, prospector outfit, which you get from the Motherload mine. I'll make a separate video about that later on. Uh, having a amulet of glory will increase the amount of gems that you obtain while trying to get the gloves in the process. This is nice if you're an Iron Man and you just want to like have them for crafting XP later on. Um, or if you're just trying to get a little bit of extra cash in the process of doing so. Having a light bear equipped will help you maintain the mining stat boost that you get from your dragon pickaxe while mining so that you're always had a higher level than what your actual level it is. Uh, I highly recommend that one if possible. And then having a, or any sort of prayer enhancing gear is nice if you're planning to use the uh, preserved prayer in order to maintain the, the dragon pickaxe boost for longer periods of time, essentially. This is, this is pretty useful if you're like just shy of level 85 where you can start mining the runite ore, which is in the eastern part of the mining guild there's two runite rocks here depending on what world you're on they are they can be heavily botted but there are a lot of opportunities for you to actually mine them yourself so it's not, a lot of times you can actually snipe them from the bot uh the bots themselves so it's a nice little influx of cash uh on the side now some helpful items that uh, you could use during this whole process are going to be the coal bag which are is an essential part for one of the two methods that you could use for this the gem bag this is only useful if you're planning to use the amulet of glory having a rock armor equipped will help give you extra pieces of ore um, give you a chance to get double ore essentially while mining uh this is only useful if you're planning to use the second method which i'll talk about later as well as the celestial ring if you have charges on it which is also super useful for the second method which i'll mention later before i show you to the two methods let me go ahead and talk about how you go about obtaining the gloves so all of the ore within the mining guild has a chance of obtaining something called unidentified min minerals you can unlock the ability to get unidentified minerals by first talking to bologna over here talking to bologna and using the right dialogue options will unlock the ability to obtain them while mining it within the mining guild and then you can later on exchange the unidentified minerals for the different types of gloves bag full of gems or soft clay packs later on 
In her shop though, she can only sell mining gloves and superior mining gloves. But if you have 60 unidentified minerals while owning both of these, you can then ask her in, through dialogue to combine both of them to create the expert mining gloves. Now it is worth noting, uh, mining gloves cost 60 unidentified minerals to obtain. Superior mining gloves cost 120 unidentified minerals to obtain. And expert mining gloves require both mining gloves and superior mining gloves to be in your inventory, as well as an additional 60 unidentified minerals in order to combine the two, which requires a total of 240 unidentified minerals in order to do so. Now, for those of you nerds out there who would like to know the specifics, iron rocks have a 1 in 100 chance of obtaining an unidentified mineral. Coal rocks have a 1 in 60 chance. Mithril rocks have a 1 in 40 chance. Adamant rocks have a 1 in 30. Runite have 1 in 20. And amethyst crystals have a 1 in 20 chance. Now from here, this is where we start going into the specifics on the two recommended methods on how to go about getting unidentified minerals. There's a really fast method, but is a bit click intensive. And there's also an AFK method, but obviously takes a little bit longer. Both are really effective methods and it's just simply a preference on which method you would like to use. The first method is power mining iron. Now, like we mentioned before, iron has a one in 100 chance of obtaining an unidentified mineral. However, because of how fast it is to power mine iron, if you stand in one of the th uh, two spots in the mining guild where there are three iron spots, you can literally just kind of one tick iron the entire process. And then once you get a full inventory, you can just drop all of them and keep mining. This is really good because even though the chances of getting a unidentified mineral is really low because of how fast it is to mine iron. It's actually a pretty quick way to obtain minerals. To put it into perspective, having a full inventory of 26 iron ore gives you about a 23% chance of getting a mineral. Um, can take about 45 seconds. Getting two inventories worth has about a 40.7% chance of getting at least one mineral and can take about 101 seconds. And three inventories worth will give you about a 54.34% chance of getting at least one mineral, um, which can take about 157 seconds. These are just rough estimates based on my playthroughs. Results will vary according to your mining level. This is the fastest method in the game, it has basically no requirements, and you can start doing this as soon as you have access to the mining guild. The second method, on the other hand, this is the AFK method. Now, in order for this method, this will require only two things, a pair of mining gloves, which cause 60 unidentified minerals and a coal bag, which you get from Motherload Mine. To put this in perspective, having an inventory full gives you about a 34.31% chance of obtaining at least one mineral, which can take about 130 seconds and having two inventories full, or in other words, having both your coal bag and your inventory full at the same time has about a 58.27% chance of obtaining at least one mineral and can take about 290 seconds. Again, these are just rough estimates and results will vary according to your mining level. The reason why you want the mining gloves and the coal bag is simply because it helps you extend your trips as well as helps you mine coal faster. Having mining gloves equipped provide a chance to not deplete a rock when you extract ore. Mining silver has a 50% chance of not being depleted. Coal has a 40% chance of not being depleted. And gold has a 33.33% chance or a one in three chance of not being depleted. Because of this 40% chance, this is what makes it really effective when mining coal. And you end up in a lot of situations where you just kind of, you just mine multiple pieces of coal from a single rock really quickly. It really helps out in the in the AFK process. And obviously, of course, having access to the coal bag makes it so that you can stay for a longer trip and you don't have to go deposit your coal in the bank nearly as often. Just like with mining gloves, the superior mining gloves, even though it also has a chance to not deplete certain rocks while mining ore, uh, mithril for 25%, adamant for 16.66% and runite for 12.5%. I don't recommend mining mithril and addy ore 
in order to try to get unidentified minerals simply because of the fact that they are way too slow to actually mine and they don't provide very good XP rates if you try to mine these. Mining runite ore and amethyst are okay just because they are worth quite a lot, um, not only in price, on top of having the best chances of actually obtaining uh, minerals. Other than that though, I would, pro I would recommend just sticking to either iron ore or mining coal, whichever method you would prefer. Without further ado guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. These are just some helpful tips and little nuggets of information and facts and statistics that <laughs> you might hopefully find helpful. If you enjoyed the video though, I would really appreciate it if you can give the video a like, subscribe, hit the bell button, it'll be really appreciated. Um, go ahead and let me know in the comment section if there's any other types of niche pieces of gear or guides that you would like me to talk about or make guides for. But other than that, my name is Brian and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.